Hi everybody in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade, and welcome back to 2021. And we have our first Wednesday computer class for this year. Um, and this week, we're going to uh, look at and learn about and listen about something for just a couple minutes. And then you guys are going to get to try a really cool website that I hope that you enjoy. I hope you have a good time with and are able to um, uh, learn from. Um, and it's something that is really, really simple in what we're going to do today. But it has to do with something that is one of the most complicated things to do with computers in the entire world. Um, if anybody has ever heard of AI or artificial intelligence or machine learning, all of those things are related to or, or uh, have to do with the website that we're going to look at today. So if you've heard of any of those things, AI or artificial intelligence or machine learning, they have to do with computers that can think for themselves or at least that learn how to figure things out, learn something, play a game, think for themselves in some way. And computers today are capable of that. It's one of the most advanced things that computers can do. When people think about AI or artificial intelligence, a lot of times what they think about are robots because from movies, uh, TV shows, stories, and even some that are, are actually real in real life, that's what people think artificial intelligence is. And there have been some really, really advanced robots that use artificial intelligence. But more commonly, or what happens more often, is that it's different programs or websites and different things that use artificial intelligence to help people either do a job, to help a company uh, with some of the work that it does. Um, sometimes when you watch movies or TV shows, um, I'm not going to give any details about it, but in uh, the most recent season of the, of the Mandalorian, if anybody watches that, they use different things that we might see in our lives that we don't even realize that have to do with artificial intelligence or machine learning. Um, with what we're going to look at today, it's a simple website that Google came up with where a computer tries to figure out what you are drawing. Now, the, what it does is it gives you some simple common words, and for each word, it gives you just 20 seconds to make your fastest, simplest doodle, right? And it looks at it, and the computer tries to figure out what that is. Now, if we think about that for a minute, here's just a couple of doodles. And probably kids as young as three, four years old would be able to look at these and say, oh, this is a flower. This is a cat. This is a bus or an ambulance or a fire truck. One of those. This is a crab. This is an owl and so on. Right? Because humans are able to look at those little drawings, little doodles, and look at clues and figure out what they are. But you have to imagine, if you had this cat, and you had 20 people, or 100 people, or 1,000 people, and you gave them 20 seconds to draw a cat, they may all draw it very differently. A kindergartner might draw it differently than someone in high school. Um, someone who's an artist might draw it differently than somebody who is not that great at drawing an art. And so you might wind up with many, many, many different cats and the goal of this website is that the machine or the computer and the software, it learns how to recognize what things are that people draw. Um, there's an example down here a little bit lower of just take a look when we say something like draw a cat. Maybe somebody could draw an outline of a basic shape. Somebody could draw like a simple whole body. Somebody could draw a face that has a little more detail, a face with a little less detail. And... If you said to a computer, what are these things, that would be something that is such a complicated, hard thing for a computer to figure out. Uh, most computers would never be able to because they would have no idea, even though for us, somebody as young as three, maybe even two years old, maybe even one year old, right? Humans would be able to know what those drawings are or, and what they're supposed to be. So... We're going to look at an example of what I mean on this website called Google Quick Draw. Now, I'll show you how to get here. I'll show you how it works. But if you just watch me for an example for a minute, this is something that I hope you guys find interesting. I hope you like to do. And uh, it seems really, really simple at first, but I hope that you can appreciate how complicated it is what the computer is actually doing. So the website looks like this to start, and there's a Let's Draw button. Now, 
I wanted you guys to see it, and I have had kids uh, in my classroom in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, do this for a couple of years now. Um, it may be at home a little bit of a challenge because there are some simple common words that you have to read. And I know that for people in kindergarten, first grade, I, I think second graders should be able to read these pretty well. But kindergarten and first grade, some you might be able to on your own, some you might not be sure of. And I'll show you what to do if you're not sure of a word. If you do have somebody that's around, a parent, a grandparent, aunt or uncle, brother or sister, babysitter, anybody that could just help you in that little part to, to tell you what those words are, it would be really helpful. Um, because uh, it would make it even a little bit easier. And also with this, you don't have to be an artist. And I'll show you an example in my drawings that I'll draw some really simple things that anybody in kindergarten, first grade, second grade would be able to. So it first asked me to draw a pond. And it says that there's going to be six drawings. This is one of six. And I only have 20 seconds to do it right? There's a time limit. So I have to draw it really fast. That means I can't worry about making it complicated, making it perfect. I have to make it really, really simple. So I'm going to say that I got it. And for a pond, what basic shapes would I want? Well, I would want a circle. I actually messed up right there, but that's okay. I'm going to draw some wavy lines. And that quickly, with that little bit of drawing, it said, oh, I know it's a pond. It went really fast, so we're going we're gonna, to uh, make it go a little bit slower this time. But in 20 seconds now, it wants me to draw a canoe. So I have my timer up here. If I forget what the word is or I need a reminder, it says over here on the left what word it wants me to draw. And I'll start making a shape. Now look down at the bottom. Every shape that I make, it f uh, tells me what it thinks that drawing is. The computer's not cheating. And I've read a lot about this. I'm not going to give you a long explanation. But it's not just that the computer knows right here that it's saying to draw a raccoon. The software that's guessing, it actually has no idea what this word is. The words are being generated by one computer and telling you what it wants you to draw. And the guesses are being generated by another computer that has no idea what word it's asking you to draw. The next one here says raccoon. Now, this one... I don't know how it's going to do because I'm going to first draw a basic head shape. And I keep messing up and making a straight line by accident. And I'm going to make those ears. And it might at first say that it thinks it's one thing. It's saying at the bottom, kangaroo, pig, bear, owl, fox, panda. Now it missed that one, and that's okay. Here it wants me to draw a dumbbell like somebody would use to lift weights. And let's see if I just make a circle over here a circle over here, a bar in the middle. It says, oh, I know, it's dumbbell. So just from those three shapes, it was able to figure that out. Now it wants me to draw flip-flops. And you can see I'm no artist, right? Let's see, let's draw a really bad version. There's one flip-flop. There's another flip-flop. Let's make a little band right there. Oh, and I was a little too slow. A heart. Let's draw, let's draw a really poor heart. Let's draw one side like that. Oh. And that fast it knew it. I couldn't trick it. Now, that can be fun. And you can see if it guesses again. It'll tell you at the end that our neural net figured out five of my doodles. There was one of them that it really had no idea about. But guess what's really, really awesome about this? You can take a look at what drawings it's basing its learning on. And that gives us some clues to how it's doing this. So... Look at all of these different shapes. These are based on all of the words that it might ask, right? And for each of them, there's millions of drawings that you can see that other people have made. So let's look at th some things here that are common. As I put my mouse on them, it tells me what they are. An aircraft carrier, an airplane, an alarm clock, an ambulance, an angel, an animal migration, an ant, an anvil, an apple, an arm. And I could keep going and going and going. Those are the types of things that it's asking for doodles of or examples of. Let's just take one, right? Here's a basketball. That's a pretty common shape that most people would know. And if I click on the basketball, this is showing what millions and millions of people drew when they got the word basketball. And look at how every one of them is a little different. Some of them are better. Some of them are worse. Uh, this one, that one's not the best. This one's not the best. But here's what happened. Every time somebody drew them, 
uh, this this is actually 126,372 doodles of basketballs that people drew. And every time that somebody drew them, the computer learned. It got better and better and better. So it started off knowing, okay, well, it's a basic circle shape, and then it's got these lines, and then it saw all the different ways that people could draw them, all the different ways that they could make those lines and make those circles, and how some of them could look one way, some of them could look another, and by having more and more and more, the more drawings that the computer gets, the better it becomes. As I'm scrolling through, look at all of these examples of basketballs. Some of these look really good, like somebody somebody was kind of an artist that drew them, and some of them don't look good at all. I'm looking at some right now, and the problem is if I put my mouse on them, they move. But some of them don't look good at all, but the computer was still able to correctly guess that that's what the person was drawing. And if you think about it, a computer being able to do that, that's really, really amazing. And when you go and draw something and the computer's guessing, that's what's happening. So that's a little bit about this site. That's a little bit about artificial intelligence and machine learning. And give it a try yourself. You can do it a couple times. Here's a spider. So I'm just going to draw a circle and then eight legs. And I bet at some point, if you're looking at the bottom as I draw, it's going to know before I'm even half finished, that was a spider. All right, so I hope you enjoy that site. I hope you like checking it out today and doing something that's a little fun but also educational for computer class, and I will see you guys next time.